everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Auntie. Hi, Emma. All right, Auntie. I've been waiting patiently. I'm ready to learn all about what foods to eat to make sure I eat all my vitamins. Great, Emma. Hmm. So I'm hoping you say chocolate cake is a food with tons of vitamins. Right, Auntie? <laughs> Good try, Emma. Yeah, you, you know I had to ask, Auntie. <laughs> all right. Let's review, Emma. Okay. I'm ready, Auntie. All right, how many vitamins are needed for our human bodies to work properly? I got this, Auntie. 13. Great job, Emma. Okay, and what are the two types of vitamin categories? Got it, Auntie. Fat soluble and water soluble. Great, Emma. You're on a roll. Did you ever doubt me, Auntie? <laughs> Never, Emma. Okay. And can you remember which vitamins are in each category? Um, of course I can, Auntie. Okay, so the fat-soluble vitamins are D, E, A, and K. And the water-soluble vitamins are vitamin C and all those Bs. Great, Emma. Okay, Auntie, enough with the easy stuff. Now let's get to the main event. Which foods have vitamins and what do the vitamins actually do? You got it, Emma. Let's do it. Great. I can't wait. Okay, so first up is vitamin A. Vitamin A is important for our vision, especially to help us see at night. It also helps with our skin, bones, and immune system. We get vitamin A from eating orange foods like carrots, sweet potatoes, and cantaloupe, and also dark green veggies and certain seafood. Next are all those B vitamins. All the B vitamins help turn food into energy and help the brain and skin work better. They are often grouped together in a B complex, but all have special names. You can get most B vitamins in whole grains like brown rice or cereals, in fish like tuna or salmon, chicken, eggs, mostly in the egg yolk, milk, yogurt, leafy green vegetables, beans, avocados, broccoli, and mushrooms. Wow, Auntie, that's a lot of food. Yep, a lot of options for the B vitamins. Okay, so let's go over all the B vitamins and their special names. So vitamin B1 is called thiamine. Vitamin B2 is called riboflavin. Vitamin B3 is called niacin. Vitamin B5 is called pantothenic acid. Vitamin B6 is called pyridoxine. Vitamin B7 is called biotin. Vitamin B9 is called folic acid, and vitamin B12 is called cobalamin. Whoa, Auntie, those were tricky. There are so many B vitamins. Yep, definitely, Emma. Okay, up next is vitamin C. Vitamin C is important for our immune system to fight off infections. It also helps the body absorb or take in iron. So without it, we can become anemic, making us bruise and bleed more. So we can get vitamin C in a lot of our fruits like oranges, cantaloupe, strawberries, kiwis, and in some veggies like red peppers, broccoli, and tomatoes. Next up is vitamin D. Vitamin D is important for our bones and our teeth to make them nice and strong. Vitamin D we not only get from foods, but also it is a special vitamin in that we can make it ourselves in our skin. When sunlight hits our skin, it creates a special reaction deep under the skin to make our very own vitamin D. 
Wow, Auntie. Yep, and vitamin D can also be found in foods like milk, yogurt, fish, egg yolks, liver, and some cereals. Next on the list is vitamin E. Vitamin E is important to help fight off unwanted chemicals or things in the environment that are attacking our cells and body. It also helps us to make red blood cells in our body. You can get vitamin E with seeds and nuts, certain vegetable oils like in salad dressings for example, or ones that we cook with, and leafy green vegetables or broccoli. And finally, last but not least is vitamin K. Vitamin K is important to help our bodies stop bleeding. If we get a cut, vitamin K helps our blood cells form a clot, which helps us stop bleeding. It also works together with vitamin D to help us have strong bones. We can get vitamin K in leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale, and also in milk, liver, soybeans, and broccoli. Wow, Auntie, I think I heard broccoli a lot on the list. Yep, Emma, you got that right. Whoa, Auntie, so our vitamins do so much. No wonder they're so important. Exactly, Emma. All right, to try and remember all our vitamins and what they do, let's sing a fun song to help us. We will group all the B vitamins as B complex to make it easier. Sounds great, Auntie, let's do it. All right, everybody. Are you ready to name all our vitamins and what they do? It's going to be a challenge. So let's sing it out together. Here we go. Vita 13, Vita 13, Vita 13. Keep it strong, sing it along. Vita 13, Vita 13. I think I finally understand all about vitamins. Now let's go try some new healthy foods because I'm pretty sure the chocolate donut I ate this morning did not have all my 13 vitamins. <laughs> I think you're right, Emma. Let's go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.